I'm Charles Buchanan. First and foremost, I'm coming from uh, Tree Seven Territory, better known as Calgary in Western Canada. And I'm the CEO and founder of Technology Helps. And Technology Helps is a social enterprise that's a true capacity builder for the nonprofit sector. So we work with organizations to help them be more safe, be more impactful, and be more empowered using technology. I've been asked to talk about the hot trend for 2022. And, uh, you know, I go back to the days when the hot trends were, you know, each year, every January, we start off saying what's going to be hot for the year, what's going to be, what's going to be excited, what's going to be new. Sorry, I'm going to be the downer in this conversation today, because I'm going to talk about technology that we'll all be acquiring sometime in 2022. And we're going to talk about how do we deal with this acquisition. So we're going to be talking about ransomware, spyware, malware. These are all technologies that all of us here and all our organizations and all nonprofits will be acquiring without their knowledge in some cases and without their permission in other cases, and it will be most unwelcome. So yes, the issue we're talking about is cybersecurity, which is everybody's business, and it's, it's a bad situation. It's going to get worse, as, as we all know. So it's less about whether something's going to happen, whether, but it's a matter of what do we do when these things happen. So with cybersecurity being your problem, everybody's problem from the board level right through to everyone in the organization, there are some things that people should be mindful of. And it's critical that you have a program in place that protects you from these unwanted situations as they do occur. And it's not strictly a technical issue. It's not just about firewalls or endpoint protection. It is enterprise risk. And there are some key questions that need to be answered as you get into this situation. It's really about protecting your valuable information. And do you know what your valuable information is? That's first and foremost. And one, do you know what could happen to it? What are the vulnerabilities? How could it become at risk? And if that were to happen, what would be the impact to the organization? How badly off would you be? Would it affect your reputation? Would it affect your ability to to serve your clients? Would it affect your ability to report to your stakeholders? And then what's the impact? What's the likelihood of something like that occurring? Is it a one in a lifetime event? Is it a, a highly likely thing? And then beyond that, if it did happen, would you know it happened? Do you have the monitoring tools in place? Do you have the mechanisms by which you could take care of things? And the other part that most people don't think about is, what do you do when something happens? It's not an if it happens, it's a when it happens. And when it does happen, what do you do? Do you have a response plan around incidents that who calls the media, who takes care of things, who... Do you have a shutoff valve for your key systems? Do you know where your system passwords are? Do you know who to notify? Do you, if there's a privacy breach, do you know how to communicate with your stakeholders or your clients whose information might be breached? And secondly, how trained are your people to spot and prevent these things? The most important thing around this is people not doing, not clicking on bad links, not getting in, in, caught up in things that could hurt the organization. So are you trained? Do you have a formal program but the bottom line is, do you have a cybersecurity protection program? Are you building a culture of cybersecurity awareness?